Let's just follow this little chain of events. The golf ball goes to the right-hand side. Well, why does that happen? Because the club face is open for the right-handed golfer. And why is the club face open? Well, the golfer had the club held in their hands and they didn't release the club. And why didn't they release the club? Because the left hand was moving quicker than the right hand. So through the impact phase, we saw the golfer in this position. Club face is open, left hand's moving faster than the right hand, no release happened, ball cleared the right hand side of the driving range fence. So if we can stop that happening, we want to hit the ball straighter, we clearly want to square the club face up better, we want to release the club better, we want to improve the speed of the right hand and get it releasing the club. So therefore we need to see a bit more of this action, this releasing the club action. You'll often see the good players through impact be here and the high handicappers, those that slice the golf ball, will be here without the release. Great exercise to release the club, great exercise to speed up the right hand. Take the left hand on the top of the club, this is for the right-handed golfer. Split the hands up, place your trail hand down below the shaft so the hands have got a good gap between them. Now because the right hand is now going to have to travel on a bigger arc, it has to travel further than the left hand, therefore it has to travel faster. So we're speeding up the right hand straight away. So split the hands up, take a good address position, make a half a backswing here. Keep the lead arm nice and strong and straight. And now from here all the way through to a finish, round to here. Now the right hand is traveling on a bigger arc than the left, it's therefore traveling faster, it's therefore learning to release the club. Once I've done 10 or 20 of those, I can slide my hand slightly higher up. Same feeling, it's still on an arc, it's still traveling faster. Get a bit of whip now. A few more of those, then slide the hand so they touch but they don't link. The right hand still doing a bit more work, still a bit quicker through impact there than a normal proper grip. Now, once you've gone back to that normal proper grip after doing quite a few of those drills, chances are that trail hand is really going to release that golf club a lot more quickly than this one that it had done before. If you release your hand very quickly, we should start to see the ball moving from right to left. So I'm gonna try and do that here. And if you see the golf ball fly, it should fly with a bit of a hook, really. I've done lots of exercise to release my right hand more than my left. I flick it over and I can hit this big, low raking hook. Now you might consider that shot a pretty poor golf shot, and it was in general terms, but as an exercise to do on a driving range, if all I'm used to seeing the ball doing is curving to the right all the time, and I've now learned how to release my hands using that drill, once I've released my hands correctly, I can then just slow them down a little bit, I can just temper them down a little bit, work on how to release the golf club at the right time to produce the higher straighter flying shots rather than the aggressive version but wake those hands up using that split-handed drill for better release.